The Secretary General of the United Nations met the First Lady of Eurovision Monday as Conchita Wurst brought her music to UN headquarters in Vienna. The unlikely pair met to highlight the importance of mutual respect and tolerance and raise awareness about the rights of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and intersex community. Wurst was born Tom Newworth, and after struggling with discrimination as a gay teenage boy, Conchita was born. And she's come a long way. You know, I never imagined that somebody finds it that necessary me to be here, you know. So this is an overwhelming honor. Even today, not everyone loves first. In some 76 countries, laws criminalize same-sex relationships, exposing individuals to the risk of arrest, prosecution, imprisonment, and even, in at least five countries, the death penalty. But Conchita is determined to go on, spreading her message of tolerance. Everybody wants to be respected. Everybody. And this is the point where, it, for me, it starts to be a bit difficult because I think you just can receive respect if you respect people. So this is, this is the thing we have to work on. From the fading light of fly, rise like At the UN, she sang Rise Like a Phoenix, the song that won her the Eurovision Song Contest and turned even the Secretary General into a fan. As United Nations Secretary General, I'm proud to champion the cause of equality for all members of our human family, no matter who they are or whom they love. The UN itself began recognizing the status of all staff members in legal same-sex marriages earlier this year. Hilda Olivia Sarkisian was the first UN staff member in Vienna to receive benefits for her same-sex spouse under the new policy. It's time, uh, it's more than time to have had this happen. As for the last word, well, that belonged to Conchita. I dream of a future where we don't have to talk about sexual orientation, the color of your skin, your religious beliefs. I would welcome you to join us, to join those people who think of this future.